You're welcome to another Toothy Tuesday. So let's start our series on halitosis. And no, it's nothing weird. It's simply the medical term for bad breath. I'm sure most of you know about it. So this is one of the most common patient complaints that dentists receive daily. And as you can imagine, bad breath can have a very, very serious psychological um, and social impact on the lives of people that have it. And a lot of the time, people who have bad breath may not even notice it. And this may cost them their relationships, friendships, and even some jobs. So in this session, we'll discuss the different types of halitosis that there are. And then in subsequent sessions, we'll delve into what causes halitosis and then how to prevent it and treat it as well. So there are several ways to classify halitosis. There's real halitosis and psychogenic halitosis, intraoral and extraoral halitosis, and then there's physiological halitosis and pathological halitosis, only to name a few. So in real halitosis, there's actually a distinctive bad breath that can be recognized, and this usually exceeds the socially accepted levels. But in psychogenic halitosis, however, the patient um, believes that they have bad breath, but there's no objectively verifiable smell. So basically, it's all in their heads. So physiological halitosis is the bad breath that is not related to any abnormality. Examples are the breath that you have after eating um, strong smelling foods like garlic and onions, and then morning breath the not so fresh breath that you have in the morning when you wake up. These are very normal and then it applies to everybody. But on the other hand, pathological halitosis is where the problem is literally. So in this case, it means that there's a disease process which is actually causing the bad breath. It could be in the mouth or the throat or the respiratory tract or even the digestive tract. In the case of intraoral halitosis, the source lies within the mouth, and then an extra oral halitosis, as you can imagine, is outside the mouth. The most common origin of bad breath is usually the mouth, in over 90% of the cases, and this is caused by bacteria. So in our next session, we'll be talking about how bad breath actually comes about, what actually causes it. So please stay tuned, and let me know if you have any questions. See you next week. Bye.